Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about creating an Office 365 client package within SCCM 1806. So let's get started. First thing that you need to do is open up your SCCM console. And once it's open up, you want to go into software library, uh, Office 365 client management, uh, let it load up. Once it loads up, you want to click on Office 365 installer. You're going to get the nice little installation wizard, provide a name and a content location. Now the content location should be a UFC path. So I provided the name of Office 365 installation app. You can give it whatever you want. Now for my path, I dropped it inside sources and I created a folder called O 365, which is Office 365. I copy that path into my content location. Remember, it has to be a UFC path. And then once you have your location, click on next. From here, it is time to open up your Office customization tool. So you're going to click on this button right here and it's going to load this up. Now I'm going to maximize this window. And the first question is, what architecture do you want to deploy? You got 32-bit, 64-bit. Uh, if you want to push 32-bit and 64-bit, you have to do this again. Uh, but we're going to push out 64-bit for this example. And you need to pick what product. There's a bunch of them. They already have Office Professional Plus 2019 if you have the volume license. Uh, I think I pick Office 365 Pro Plus. Once you pick your product, you need to select or exclude uh, which products you don't want. I think the only one that I selected was OneDrive. And from here, you want to click on Add. And you're done. <laughs> then the next thing that you need to do is the Update Channel. If you click on the drop-down menu, you have different versions. Uh, you have to pick what fits within your environment. I pick Semi-Annual. And then which version do you want to deploy? You are able to go back to 1708, 8431, 2153 build. I picked the latest one, which is 1803-9126-2295. Uh, click on next. Then we need to pick your language. Uh, I pick English. And if you want, you are able to pick additional languages. Click next. And then your installation. You're able to pin the icons or you could turn it off or on. By default, it is on. And you are able to enable logging and you are able to give it a path of where you want to save the log files. Now you have upgrade options. Uh, from here, it allows you to uninstall any MSI version of Office, including Visio and Project. Once you customize it the way you want it, click on Next. Now for license and activation, depending on what product you picked, because I picked Pro Plus, it doesn't give me an option to do a KMS or a multiple activation key. If you picked a uh, an Office 365 volume license one, then you're able to pick these two. And the next two options within the license and activation it allows you to accept the license and terms. And if you want, you're able to share the computer activation. Now for me, I turn this on because I definitely want to accept the license and terms. I don't want to click on it. So when you click on it, it's going to give you this little option. And then you click on next. Within general, you're able to provide your organization name and a description. For my organization name, I gave it BTNHD. I didn't give it a description and I clicked on next. And then you got your application preferences. This is where you are able to customize it even more, disable the show screen tip, uh, large icons if you want. It, you have a lot of options here. I can't really go over all these or tell you what's best. You have to actually sit down, go over each one to customize it within, to customize it for your environment. What you really want to do is click on import. Once you click on import, you're going to get this little menu right here. It's going to give you a breakdown of everything that you selected within the customization tool and just click on submit. You won't see that orange asterisk next to go to the office customization tool. And then you're able to click on next. Uh, do you want to deploy the application now? I say no, but you could deploy it on the spot if you want. Click next. A nice little summary. Next again. It's going to start working. It's magic. And once everything is completed, you're going to get a nice little summary that says the Microsoft Office 365 client installation wizard completed successfully. That's always a good thing. Close that up and good to go. Now, if you want, you are able to go inside the application management and within application management, click on applications and you're going to see your Office 365 installation app. Again, hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.